So for this examination, I'm using now the UCT 180 from Olympus so company. Olympus, it uh, is a um, uh, linear endoscope. Oh, really? Yes. Okay, that's good enough. And again, I would like to extend the mucosal incision from here. And here to there. <coughs> it's to ultrasound? <coughs> yes. And ah, setting okay. the hood pedal intermittently, I can make a nice mucosal incision like this. And white ceramic tip is staying on the surface, and we can recognize the blue line. This is the aorta, and I'm advancing the endoscope. Here you can see structures of the pancreas. So I'm retracting the scope, and now I try to um, find this lesion. So actually, in such a case, we would first perform radial ultrasound, but this is not available, but this is not a problem, because here, with the radial endo um, echoscope, you can more nicely see, have a better anatomical overview. But I think um, here in this case, we can enlarge a little bit, uh, bigger, bigger. Mm -hmm. about the surface of this tumor? Okay, uh, so this kind of is BS the lesion. Uh, now we fix, uh, uh, stop, uh, freeze, and then uh, we will measure the lesion. So um, yes, uh, this be, right? yeah. uh, is lesion is about, yeah. also this diameter. so this is a relatively small okay. lesion, so um, it is <laughs> only... <laughs> yeah. But in case 1. of using two by, okay. it's mandatory to use crystal virus uh, 1.5 centimeters. Uh, it is an echo-poor lesion. Because okay. of the potential risk of and, having um, a yes, by yes, using yes. crystal virus. Same in Korea. You have here nicely the, the different layers. Unfortunately, maneuverability of the endoscope is really poor. I think here, stop, yeah, stop. Mm -hmm. okay, and here has something to show. Because of the uh, here, uh, you can nicely appreciate ability. this is the muscularis okay, propria, good. and the tumor is here already. So we can do procedure like this and gently touching to the blood vessel and. The Stefan. Okay, okay. So now we have um, negative pressure with a syringe, and now I'm trying to move within the tumor. And this is also now some, a little bit tricky because um, because the position is not so good, the tumor always moves with me. So I really have to grab tissue. And um, in leiomyoma, the diagnosis can be only made by histology. So if we have other cancers like pancreatic cancer, cytology is sufficient, but not in leiomyoma. And the differentiation between leiomyoma and GIST also needs immunohistochemy. So that's why we need good material. So I'm moving here. So what I'm doing, I'm vanning, as it's called. So I try to get first here on the top of the lesion. Then I'm using the big wheel, moving a little bit and trying to get also material from the lower part of the lesion. But you see always the tumor is moving with me. But sometimes I have such a click and then I know I get material. So the nurse checks if blood is coming, but in this case it's not such a big problem. Okay, so now I'm carefully removing. Wait, wait, wait. First we put the needle out. Okay. 
Yes. So I use now, um, so we can use the Olympus needle 19 gauge. I use now the 20 gauge cook needle because it is made of special material, nitinol, and um, it is relatively soft. Okay, this. Ah, wait, 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 wait. Slowly, slowly. No, 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 wait. First, the needle. So first, we are mm. pushing forward the needle. Moment, yes. moment. Mm -hmm. Two centimeters. Okay. And now, um, now. I have the needle here, and now the nurse is introducing the stylet. Slowly. Slowly and gently. Material is coming. Yes, I think um, we have, and uh, now I'm looking for whitish pieces, and I think we have some material. Okay, we inject a little bit air. So I think here's some material in. Okay, wait, retract the needle, yes. And then we also have some blood in the syringe. Um, this we will also put in a, yes, in another <coughs> cap. Okay, so I think we got material, and you can proceed also, maybe with Professor Yahagi, because we will puncture again, because in such case it is very important to have, um, to have a lot of material, and that's why we puncture again, and um, yes. And I hope that we finally get the diagnosis. So I expect this is a lyomyoma. It's a small lyomyoma. <laughs> Patient has not the symptoms from the tumor. I think patient has symptoms from the reflux. And um, we hope to get a diagnosis. And if it is a lyomyoma, we also don't need to follow up this patient because we can be sure that this is a benign lesion uh, with no indication for do anything. I know that Dr. Yu removes such lesions, <laughs> but if it is a gist, there is an indication, but not for lyomyoma. Okay. <laughs> Okay, we'll do the same. Perfect.